So for this installment, my daughter got one of these uh, little toy ride-ons. has one motor in the back. What we've noticed with these things is you can't go off of like a straight sidewalk with them or they just don't go. If you get in the grass, anything other than something flat that's made of concrete, they just spin tires and don't move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a donor car. I'm going to take the motor from it. And I'm going to install it in this one for my daughter to make it two-wheel drive. I'm going to start by removing the axle. Pop off the center and take the screw off here. It's like a uh, half inch. So Sorry, it's a nut. Okay, once you do that, you can pull the axle straight out from the left. Always take the nut off that's on the same side as the motor. That way you can pull it out because it's got a stopper on this side. So you just let that pull out that way. Um, the motor's still connected inside here, so we'll have to go in here and disconnect the motor if we want to take it off. <clears throat> which won't be too hard. We're going to have to rewire it anyways. So let me go ahead and remove this motor and we'll get back to you. Okay, so the next step, as you can see, for the motor to fit, it's got to be cut away, right? So there's like this little cutaway indention. It does not exist on the other side. So we're going to have to modify it a little bit to make that fit. And uh, you do that just by cutting away the plastic. And we will try to build it back up so that you know the axle has somewhere to rest on here using some of the plastic that's left over. So let's go ahead and start that. All right, so I got this cut. Um, as you can see, the other side, I've got this a lot steeper of an angle. So I can actually, you know, there's a hole drilled for the motor to come through. So I need to offset that hole up here. A little bit higher so that they don't hit each other when they're inside the actual toy so I'm gonna have one of my holes here and one of my holes kind of back here so that the wires you know and the motor itself just don't hit I'll be back okay so now we've got the hole it's ugly I didn't have a hole saw the right size so I just went for it with a razor blade and Dremel tool but as you can see they're offset Hopefully enough that the motors will clear. So I'm going to start um, working on putting some plastic in here to kind of build a little bit of a hole that will hold the axle in place um, like the other side has. And then we're going to reassemble. Okay, I think I found the easiest way to do this. So we have this piece that we cut out that was previously sticking out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that on the inside like so, and we're going to attach it either with some plastic screws or maybe drill a bunch of holes and do zip ties, but something to secure it that it's in there tight. We really just need it to support the weight of the axle with a, you know, 20 pound, one and a half year old. So let's get to it. Okay, um, here's part two. I went ahead and put the plastic part on. As you can see, it's in dented like the other side is and I put it in with uh, some plastic screws and it should hold well they're lined up decently well um, it's time to start reassembly all right well I almost forgot there is one more thing you got to remove these parts off of this side because as you can see the other side does not have it and now that we've modified this and we're going to have a motor. We don't need this spacer anymore. So we've got to grind this stuff off and kind of smooth it out so that we can get the motor over it. All right. So as you can see, I didn't have a bench grinder. So I used a Dremel tool with a cutting wheel, which was a little ugly. But I was able to uh, get most of the metal burrs off of it, smooth out, get that uh, little tab off of it after I ground that weld down, and then smooth it out. You know, there's a little bit of, you know, metal missing here and there but not enough to cause any structural issues with a you know up to a 40 pound kid so this should do it <clears throat> now let's see if we can reassemble 
Okay, so here's the finished product. It's got some screws in it and a couple zip ties holding the uh, holding the axle kind of steady. The axle does not spin, so it doesn't matter. You know, you just got to kind of hold it in place. Um, I had to make the hole a little bit larger on this side to get my axle to align because uh, of the thickness of the plastic on the end there. It lifted it up and pushed it forward a little bit. So I just, you know, made the hole a little bit bigger, pulled it to the back and down as tight as I could with two zip ties. And now that axle's in there really, really tight. Everything's aligned and it sits perfectly. Now we just got to wire the one motor in reverse and the other motor in the standard way. So it was the blue wires were the original wires going to the original motor on the right. So I would guess, I don't know, I haven't tested this one yet, but and I didn't pay any attention when I tore it apart the old the old guy, which one's plus or minus, but quick investigation here, you can figure that out. Um, hook it up, push the button. If they both spin the right direction, you're good. If they don't, you need a reverse one. All right, well, let me get this put together and maybe I'll show you it working. All right, so I got it all wired up. Everything's installed properly. Um, it ended up that the black wires uh, from the one from the donor motor went with the white wires on the original. So black to white, who would have thought? Um, blue with red. And uh, as you can see, they're both, let's see here. So I've done this before. I know it works excellent. This will make this thing very much capable of going pretty much on any terrain versus, you know, getting in the grass and going basically belly up. So uh, sorry about rotating. I couldn't get the wheels in the camera image. I don't have any good setup. So just trying to sh share some knowledge here, see if I can help anybody else out that just likes to tinker and do things that you know, may or may not be worth it. But if you can get the donor parts, it took me all of maybe uh, 20 minutes. So uh, if you try this out, good luck. And uh, I guess let me know how it goes.